Hi, Kevin Byrne here with Remax. Welcome to our real estate video blog. Today we're going to be talking about ways to make your offer irresistible to a seller in this marketplace. So if you're a buyer out there right now, what we're finding is that many times you're going to be competing against one, two, three. In some cases, we had a client just the other week had six offers on their property. So it's a very active market in many neighborhoods, in many price ranges. So one of the key things that you could do is how do I position my offer to make sure it's accepted in competition with other ones that are out there? Number one, if you can do it, pay cash. That, you know, investors um, are certainly snapping up the best deals that are out there right now because the market is, is you know, dipped to such a point where there's real value. Um, <clears throat> and then sellers obviously love cash offers because that way there's no appraisal, there's no loan conditions, there's no contingencies as well. So that's a great, great way to obviously have, have your uh, offer uh, stand alone in terms of you know a cash offer. Not everyone can do that. Uh, the next one would be get pre-approved. So definitely talk to one or maybe multiple offers, mul multiple lenders to make sure that you're you're fully qualified, fully approved, uh, not just. Um, a pre-qualification letter. That means they have all your your income and that you have a pre-approval, not a pre-qualification letter, which is much stronger. Again, sellers want to make sure that if they agree to your terms, that you're going to be able to close at the end of the day. So again, maybe one or two pre-approval letters could be a strong way to set yourself aside from someone who took 10 minutes on on the line, you know, talking to some uh, some loan uh, person. So again, get pre-approved. Okay, make the best offer. So again, <clears throat> you may have gotten some advice from uh, people you know. We, we always hear that. You talk to grandma and she told me to lowball, uh, never offer full price. That's not gonna happen in this marketplace. You're gonna have to offer a fair market value and that many times means full price or above. So you just have to be ready when you find the right property, be able to move quickly and make a f fair offer. Other things that you can sometimes do is up the ante. There are escalator clauses that allow you to say, we'll bid um, 5,000 over the, the next competitive offer up to a certain amount. So if the house is really perfect for you, we can put in some escalator clause that will protect you on, on, the, on the top side in terms of what you're willing to pay, but it also allows you to bid above the next best offer. And then you'll obviously get confirmation of that offer. Uh, beef up your earnest money. Another great way to look at uh, strengthening your position is showing that you have more cash than the average bear out there in the marketplace. And, and sellers love that. They want to make sure that you have enough dollars to actually close the deal. So beefing up your earnest money is a great way to stand aside and stand above the competition in the marketplace. Um, you know, some other things you know are making contingencies palatable. So if you have a contingency on a sale of your property, and if it's under contract, you know, making sure that, um, you know, that <clears throat> happens quickly. Hopefully you're going to close before on that property. But there's ways to set up the contingencies to make sure that the seller feels they're palatable, whether it's the appraisal condition. Another um, big concern in this marketplace, we're finding about 30% um, of the appraisals we're having issues with because the market's so, uh, you know, aggressive right now in, in the appreciation. So that may be a way you could say, hey, you know, if we come up 5,000 less on the appraisal, we'll pick up the difference. There's some advantages there, there's some disadvantages as well. One other thing I really feel is important is to write a love letter. Basically, hey, we love your house. This is why we're gonna enjoy it. Here are the people, we just got married, we've got some kids, they're gonna love the back, big backyard. You know, people, this is an emotional sale for the seller as well. And they wanna make sure they're selling to someone who's really gonna enjoy the house. So writing a letter that gives you the specifics exactly of why you like the house, a little background on, on the people who are actually buying it, makes a big difference to the sellers. Again, when there's multiple offers. So one of the last things is giving the gift of time. And that allows the, the sellers, once we get under contract, to actually find a replacement property. So giving them enough time to go out and actually find a property, which is very difficult in this marketplace, could be the difference between getting the house you want in losing out. So again, hire an experienced agent, make sure they're able to handle all these contingencies and uh, wrap it up, you know, in terms of a bow, in terms of the offer and working, you know, with the buyer agent to make sure that, that you get the property versus the competition. So again, 
Uh, thank you so much for your time again. If you know, uh, if you or someone you know is looking either buy or sell, we'd love to help them. Phone number is 303-543-3078. Our email is kevin at theburngroup.com. Again, thanks for your time today.